Watch me go. We're a go. <laughs> Hi, uh, this is Art Pacheco, and we're here at the lab. We're gonna go way, and I'll keep it short. I started playing probably when I was like 12. I uh, kind of picked it up from my dad. My dad played around town here in California, in Los Angeles. Before that, he played professionally in Mexico, so I became his roadie because I was a huge fan of his. I'd want to actually like tear down his kit, tune it up, and so on and so forth, and load it for him, even though I can lift the junk. I was like a kid. I'm a drummer because of my dad, so it's really his fault. You know, it just kind of hit me. It struck me as something that I just needed to be around and be doing at all times. Got into college. After studying, you know, orchestrally, I did uh, the jazz band thing. And then I got my first tour with Robin Thicke. We toured for about two or three years. Got to see the world. And I got to play a lot of big events. Escorted by police uh, to large events, which was really fun. It's like the rock and roll moment. Yo, what's up, dude? My wife and I are huge believers in creators, like having a place to, to be expressive. You know, it's so easy to get lost in the grind in, in everyday life. And so we wanted to establish a place where musicians can come in and, and kind of be away from all that junk. Probably cut off that. Unless you want to keep that. Do new it, tempo. It, it could go either we leave it. For me, vibe is like, like its own little like universe, like a place or space. The vibe of a room or when you walk into our little house or we walk into the studio, it's, it's a setting. It's a place that should, that vibe should inspire you or put you in this like sort of petri dish so that you can like kind of grow. Whatever you do creatively, if you walk in here, it, that, that vibe should inspire you. I want that. I'm always constantly looking for that thing. I also want to provide it because I know what it means to be a creator and having a place that you can like let it be, let it happen. And not worry about, oh, I got to pick up my dog poop or I got to pay this bill. It's like, no, no, we're here to create. That's what this is for. We're not talking about any other shit. We're talking about creating, making music. Get it. It's, a, it's such a great song to listen to. It's easy to take in all the lyrics, you know? It's awesome. I have a strength for like co-producing and, and producing and, and creating vibe, creating an aura around songs. From an audio standpoint, from a music writing standpoint, I've always felt comfortable in that seat and I thought I would provide that as a service. I, I don't like the word service. I think that sounds too like corporate. I prefer to think about it as like a, a partner in the songwriting process. I really think that that's important. It's like super gratifying because I, I'm a creator and when you realize something, something comes like to life, you know, from a creative standpoint, it's, it's inspiring. It makes you want to keep going and doing the thing. Seeing something that they thought might not be that good. You know, I think that I have a talent for bringing it up to that other level and then just, you know, pull it up to where it needs to be. You know, you get so caught up in, in feeling that your stuff's not that good because you're comparing it to other people and the finished products and so on and so forth. But sometimes those Things, those little things, those little seeds, they, they, they turn into stuff, you know. They just need somebody else's ears to kind of like lay on.